What's up geeks and gamers and welcome to Gaming with Geeks and we have some news to do with the upcoming DC games. Now there's been quite a bit of speculation as to what the second one was going to be. We all knew that one of them was the Batman game and there was rumours. I remember going back oh, three years ago or something like that there was rumours that the second game was going to be a Suicide Squad game and then there was reports how that had been scrapped. Well those reports have popped back up and it seems like domain names have been registered for both the Batman game and the Suicide Squad game. So let's jump into it. Yes, Batman Arkham developer Rocksteady is making a Suicide Squad game. A list of leaked domain names has set internet tongues wagging that Rocksteady developer of Batman Arkham Asylum is working on a game centered around DC Suicide Squad. The domain name popped up uh, yesterday on Reset Era where fans noted that they were registered by a company connected to Warner Brothers. Eurogamer understands this to be accurate. Now I've heard one of the particular phrases registered as a domain is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League.com. It's interesting. It's a contender for the game's final title and a good dissemination of what you can expect Rocksteady's next big project to be about. Other domain names registered include Suicide Squad Game.com and Gotham Knights.com, which is which actually sounds pretty accurate for the Batman game because we've heard that the Bat family is going to have um, be a lot more interaction and playable and stuff like that in. So the Gotham Knights game that sounds like a pretty cool title to me. Gotham Knights refers to the unannounced Batman game currently being developed at Batman Arkham Origin Studio, Warner Brothers Montreal. Both projects are set to be teased at Warner Brothers upcoming DC fandom event in August 22nd, I believe, Eurogamer understands. Expect to see a little of Gotham Knights, which while unannounced has been continually hyped via various Court of Owls hints for more than a year. Now expect to see very little of Rock City Suicide Squad game, which is further off from launch. Both projects are being developed for next gen consoles. So what I understand from this, because I did a little bit of digging on Twitter onto some of those more accounts, is that um, the Suicide Squad game is going to be coming out later and it's going to be a next-gen only, whereas the Batman game is going to be cross-gen from my understanding of that. And that does make sense, considering what this is saying, how we'll see very little of the Suicide Squad game because it's still further along um, down the pipeline as opposed to the Gotham Knights Batman game, which has been in development for longer. So I think we can expect to get a teaser trailer for the Batman game and then just like a logo reveal or something for the Suicide Squad game. Now I'm all for the Batman game, been waiting for that for years. Suicide Squad game? Sure, why not? I think Suicide Squad's been a little bit played out, especially considering next year we have another Suicide Squad movie, the James Gunn one. So who's, who knows? But the DC fandom event in August 22nd, we'll be getting our trailers as well as you know more information for DC stuff. As a DC fan, this does excite me. I think they've done really well with their games lately. So we'll have to see how this all plays out. But I'm looking forward to this. So drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of a Suicide Squad game? How do you think that will play out? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Share the video around. Leave a big thumbs up. All that good stuff. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. And I will see you all in the next video.